who broke the most props on set? What's the number one rule for the cast to always maintain a good mood on set? Okay, next on the <laughs> And who out of the cast is Aaron's main love interest in real life? <laughs> Hello, hearties. It's time to make a short throwback to the most hilarious bloopers from this set. Inside the infirmary. Hey, um, come on. When it comes to bloopers, the all-time favorites are the ones of the cast constantly messing up their lines. The queen of that wasn't scripted, sorry, definitely goes to Pascal Hutton. Everybody always says the danger with Rosemary is don't give me any lines. Oh my because god. Because if you don't give me any lines, She'll okay, just make them up. I'll just start making my own stuff up and yeah. there's no reigning that in it. I bet some of those might have ended up in the final cut. Come on, Pascal, fans love it when you mess up a little bit. It's always so much fun. I will personally design your wedding gown. <laughs> However, some of the cast members can easily compete with Pascal in the amount of messed up lines. Right, Aaron? Uh, according to the book, yes. That's not the line. <laughs> what is it, Ambrosio? Oh, no with me. Yes. No with me, I know. Aaron Krico is known not only for her ability to forget lines and improvise, oh, what the, what's this line? But also for messing up props and even breaking doors. Guys. Oh. Oh. Still, no matter how badly you mess up, additional skills and brilliant performances are still the main thing that come in handy on set. And Aaron is the happy owner of just such skills. This is uh, this is a math assignment that I wrote myself. This was simple enough for you to just do. I could handle you it. You could handle yes. this. Talking about special hidden skills, just watch Jack Wagner being a master of tongue twisters for 10 seconds straight. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck woodchuck wood, huh? How much? Well, the answer to that is very easy. The answer is infinity, because all a woodchuck does is chuck wood, and he's never stopping. However, even the most skillful tongue twister teller can sometimes mess up a simple line. But I'm not going to say what? Excuse me. Please do that again. Forget the words. At 10 camps, how many? The shut up. Can't. Bill, I think there's only one camp. Suddenly burst out laughing. Action. <laughs> We're strike this morning. Alex, Alex Flax. I hope you got a haircut. Or struggle to figure out how to work with the props. Pretty much there. <laughs> However, props are nothing in comparison to the animals on set. This set has live animals. <laughs> this is so cool. There's a horse right here. <laughs> yeah, that's just one of them. While it's no secret live animals can cause big problems, let's call them poopers right on set. So the question is... If you were coming through Hope Valley and stopped to have a conversation with some of the town folk, and your horse took a plot in the middle of the street. Do you think you would acknowledge it or ignore it? Hmm, that's a tough question, but Kayla Wallace seems to have an answer to that. I would definitely acknowledge it. Maybe apologize, because I'm Canadian. <laughs> apologize for the horse doing its thing that's so natural. And then I would excuse myself to go clean it up. I wonder how many times those natural surprises went onto the bloopers list. I guess it might be better if we never know. Proceed! When we have scenes with horses in them, if I yell, action, nice the horses jail. spontaneously break into a run. <laughs> so I, I use the word proceed. Proceed! Moving on to our favorite love triangle. Before we see the best of their bloopers, we must ask, Team Nathan or Team Lucas? No! I bet most of you guys react to this question similarly to the other cast members, and we can't blame anyone for struggling to choose a side in this case. Oh, no. I know. No. Oh, what? How could you choose? 
I'm the judge. I can't be opinionated. I can't pick a side here. Look how stressed he is. Well, since no one is able to pick, we'll leave it to Elizabeth in season eight, since fans have been assured that the love dilemma will finally come to a conclusion then. I am happy to say that that we will, in season eight, have a decision, and we'll get to see Elizabeth move on with her romantic life. All right, I suppose we should get ready for something big. No matter who Elizabeth chooses, it's always better to make up your mind rather than run away from decisions, right? <laughs> we do understand how complicated it gets sometimes when you're trying to shut the door on someone. Or the curtain. Significantly more difficult, especially when both options are incredible in their own way. Did I mention they're both handsome and funny? You mentioned that, yes. Oh, okay. While Elizabeth is in between two flames, Aaron Krako seems to have figured out her one and only true love on set. Aaron Buckles asked her about it directly. If you had to choose someone on our cast, other than who you're paired up with, who would you choose to be your love interest? Any idea who won Aaron's heart? The answer is two of the most funny and charming cast members. If I could choose someone as Elizabeth's love interest other than Nathan or Lucas, I would choose the great love of her life, Baby Jack. No surprise, those two adorable babies are true heartbreakers. You heard me right, too. If you're a true fan, you definitely know that Baby Jack is portrayed by twins, Lincoln and Gunnar Taylor, the most disciplined and professional actors of the cast who never mess up takes. <laughs> and I think it's pretty funny to see. Well, almost never. Still, these two guys mostly keep it super professional. They are very focused and involved in the scene. These guys don't just follow the example of the adult cast. <laughs> They're making expressions similar to the ones that I'm making. But the kids also do quite a lot of brilliant improvisations. There have been some super cute, funny moments on set. One of the babies just reached up and stuck his whole fist in my mouth at one point, so that was pretty cute. And when the babies are not around to maintain an extremely good mood on set, the only thing that's able to save the situation is applying one of the main When Calls the Heart cast's rules on set. Always show your moves. In case that doesn't help, See rule one again. Whenever something goes wrong, try the same rule and see what happens. If you enjoyed our When Calls the Heart hilarious bloopers, go watch more videos like this on our channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome.